There was a small gathering at the main state pier this afternoon where crews from two Coast Guard cutters, both named SPAR, met. One of the cutters, SPAR 403, was decommissioned in 1997. And today, some of its former crew got to see the new cutter SPAR and its crew. And as New Center Maine's Luca Serio explains, the name SPAR holds a lot of meaning for both crews, and it's got deep ties to Maine. The U.S. Coast Guard cutter SPAR is on her way to Duluth, Minnesota, where she and her crew will tend to the buoys of the shipping channels of the Upper Great Lakes. It just worked. But first, a stop in Portland for a reunion. SPAR 206 is the second cutter to bear the name. The first was SPAR 403. Her maiden voyage was in 1944. They have blue lobsters once in a Chuck while. Chuck Worthen worked as an engineer in the Elder SPAR from 1976 to 1978. Today, he saw the modern version of the ship he once served on. It's overwhelming, the, 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 the difference in a modern cutter compared to the older one. It's, it's, it's overwhelming. But the name SPAR goes far beyond cutters. SPAR is a, a reference to the women who were stood up as, uh, they, they were called SPARs during World War II. Basically, they stayed here in the States while the men went to war. Uh, but the women supported the entire force of the Coast Guard, and they were called SPARs, which is, stands for Semper Paratus Always Ready, which is the Coast Guard's um, motto. It's also a name for women who serve in the Coast Guard. It's exciting to see, you know, the SPARs impact on our service because, you know, as a woman coasting myself, there's people who blazed the trail and made it easy for me to do the things I'm doing today. One of those trailblazers is Maine native Edith Rogers. She wasn't a SPAR herself. She served her country on Capitol Hill and is best known as the longest tenured woman to serve in Congress from 1925 to 1960. While she was born in Saco, Rogers represented Massachusetts. She eventually helped create the Women's Army Corps, or WACS. In time, the Navy would form its own version of the WACS, fittingly named the Waves. During World War II, the Waves were women who took the place of men at U.S. Navy shore stations. And since World War II, uh, the SPARs have been a very um, important part of the Coast Guard and our heritage and our history because they sustained everything for the Coast Guard while um, the Coast Guard was transferred to the Navy. And so the name SPAR is a title that women wear with pride. I feel like I have very big shoes to fill. It's definitely a thing to be proud of as a woman in the Coast Guard to know that the boat I'm on right now is named after brave women who stepped up to the plate. Something seaman Marissa Dries will be thinking about as SPAR 206 leaves Portland full steam ahead for the Great Lakes. Lucas Sirio, New Center, Maine.